Hi friends! Welcome back to the Avocado Toast Budget. If you're new here, my name is Lexa and today we are going over a quick start guide of how to set up your budget in YNAB. Recently, YNAB made some big changes to their app and then also to their mobile platform and I want to show you exactly how to set up your budget from start to finish inside of the YNAB app. So let's go ahead and get into it. Once you've downloaded the app, just open it up, click those three buttons at the top left hand corner, hit settings and create a new budget. Then you'll just name your budget, everything else on this page, I like to keep the same. If there's anything you wanna tweak, go ahead and tweak it now. Then YNAB jumps you right into setting up your budget. This is where the majority of the work is going to be, but it is so important. And to use YNAB most effectively, you're going to need to know the due dates and amounts for your debt, bills, and rough estimates of your variable expenses. First step, I'm going in and changing this category group name from bills to fixed expenses. The categories themselves you can also rename. So I don't have a mortgage, so in this case, we're just going to change the name to rent. Plus, for every single category, I like to put an emoji and the information in the name, including when the bill comes out and how much it is. This just helps me to stay organized. Now inside of the YNAB app, you can create your own targets. These used to be called goals inside of YNAB, now they're referred to as targets. But otherwise, everything else about them has stayed the same, so if you have questions about setting up targets, definitely check out my video on YNAB goals, which now are targets. The big thing here is that you wanna put a target on every single category. Putting the work in right now and doing that is going to allow YNAB to work its magic. So for these fixed expenses, I'm going in and putting the amount and the due date. If there's a category that you don't need, you can just hit those three little dots next to it and then hit delete category. You can also move them up and down. I like to order them by due date by just pressing, holding, and dragging. To add a category, hit that little plus button right underneath the word done. Continue focusing on your fixed expenses, add those all in, make sure that each one of them has a target and you have put in that target amount or basically how much you're paying every month on them. Once we're done with fixed expenses, I like to move on to variable expenses. YNAB has this in here as frequent, I'm just gonna change the name to variable expenses to keep it consistent with how I like my budget. This is where you are probably going to utilize different types of targets. I actually love that YNAB has it in here for things like groceries to budget for on a weekly basis because I think that that helps you break down some of those bigger variable expenses. But if you ever wanna change the target type, just hit that little X, and change the target to what works for you for that category. I also highly recommend inside of your variable expenses, adding a whoops category. This helps cover you when you first start budgeting in case you overspend or forget an expense. Moving on to non-monthly expenses, I call these sinking funds. I have tons of videos on these, but these are basically non-monthly expenses that you budget for on a monthly basis. For Christmas, I chose the buy date target. This allows me to say how much money I wanna have saved by a certain date. For me, this is the beginning of December and you can have it repeat every year. Once you finish up with your sinking funds, I'm moving on to life goals, things like vacations, a baby, or a wedding. I'm using the example of a wedding to show you how to set an open date target. Basically, this is just telling YNAB, I want $10,000 eventually to save for my wedding. To add a category group, you're going to click that little plus button that's inside of the folder, and I am going to create a category group for debt. This is all of my debt payments other than credit cards. We'll cover that in part two. For this category, I'm going to put the name of the debt payment and then just make it a monthly target and put how much is due every month and the due date. Then go back through, review your budget, make sure that you have all of your expenses, your bills, and your savings goals in there because now we're going to move on to setting up your account. When you're done making your budget plan inside of YNAB, it's going to pop up this right here for you to add your bank accounts. You have two options, a linked or an unlinked account. With a linked account, YNAB goes ahead and just automatically updates whenever you have a clear transaction, whether that's income or spending from your bank account. An unlinked account means you're putting in everything manually. It will prompt you to select the type of account that you are putting in. In this case, we're gonna do checking. You're gonna give it a nickname, and then you're also going to put in how much you have cleared in that account right now. You can estimate if you need to. For now, we're just going to stick with the checking account. We'll add the rest of our accounts later, but let's go ahead and assign that money from our checking account a job. 
Whenever you click auto assign, YNAB is going to guess where that money needs to go based on your due dates. Now you know yourself better than the app, so go ahead and adjust this. Make sure that you have the categories covered that you need to until you get paid again. That is the big premise of YNAB. What does your money need to do for you until you get paid? In my case, I know that I get paid before my car payment comes out again, so I am just going to go ahead and fund about half of this to put that extra money toward other categories. The same exact thing goes for my cell phone bill, so I'm going to go ahead and take that out of my cell phone category and add it back into ready to assign. If you've used YNAP before, this used to be called to be budgeted, and now they have changed it to ready to be assigned. Once I move that money out of those categories I don't need to worry about yet, then I can start moving that money into the categories that I do need to worry about. For certain expenses like groceries or gas, you don't have to fund it in full because that's your whole gas and grocery money for the month. You just need to think about how much money are you going to need in those categories before payday hits. And we are going to do this with every single dollar that we have inside of our checking account. That's why we started with just putting in our checking account first. And then in part two, I am going to go over exactly how to navigate saving, investing, and paying off debt. But for now, you have got all of your money assigned and you are ready to start budgeting. Anytime that you go to spend money, check your YNAB budget first and input that transaction. Again, in part two, I will show you how all of that works. Okay, everyone, that's it. I hope that this helped you to set up your budget inside of YNAB with their new 2021 update. If you have any more questions, leave me a comment down below and I will see you all next time. Bye.